Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Unnamed here, and I've got a little video. <clears throat> In my last video, I explained how the hydrogen engines here would probably be better for atmosphere, and Keen Software has pretty much confirmed this, saying that they work more efficiently in atmosphere than they do <clears throat> in space. These would primarily be for getting off a planet. And, yeah, so I decided, what the hell, I might as well build myself a rocket booster and uh, see where that got me. And then I thought, well, I want to try and build a multi-stage rocket like they did, except not as complicated. And as you can see, it really isn't. It's a couple hydrogen tanks, some conveyors, conveyor tubes, a connector. There's a small reactor in there, and yeah, just a merge block up here which attaches to this shuttle, because I was thinking, well, while I'm at it, I might as well try and build something that's quick, dirty, easy to get off planet, with a lot of resources, say there's something on the planet that you can only get on that planet, and getting it into space might be a little difficult without something like this. It's basically just a large cargo container, a reactor, battery, gyroscope, couple little things, a connector, so you can dock with another ship. And it was a little tricky getting this thing to work properly, but once I did, it's really great. And this door here is the only mod in this entire setup because the new doors, while they're great, the swiveling doors, <clears throat> it takes up this entire block and it's kind of clunky and I don't really like it. This offset door is actually a lot better, in my opinion. I wish Keen would do this, make doors offset so they stick out at like one end of a block instead of like halfway through, and that way you need like two blocks. It's complicated, you don't need to be messing with that. It's a bit of a mess. But anyway, this is the shuttle, and it's got a fair bit of room in here. I could add a gravity generator or extra cargo or whatever. I've got two, three, four, five extra blocks worth of space in here. So I could add probably a programmable block, a timer block, and all that to automate some of the functions. But really, it's very, very simple. Just a couple solar panels to charge the battery up here, and yeah, it's simple but it's effective and maybe in another iteration I'll build one that can actually be pressurized and have a breathable atmosphere and actual airlock but for the time being this is actually really really good and it's also a pretty zippy little ship well it's not loaded right now but as you can see it's very maneuverable I can move pretty quickly with it It's just really nice. I really love this design, and I think I could do a lot more with it, actually. I can actually probably build a larger, like, mid-tier combat ship. So yeah, now that I have that kind of get the door, now that I have that, here's the whole setup put together. Basically, the shuttle connects to the rocket boosters here. Once they're fully fed with hydrogen, and you use this to blast yourself off the surface of the planet and out of the atmosphere. And once you do, you detach the merge block and then start boosting away using this. This will either fall back away or whatever. Maybe it just keeps going. Maybe I'll set up some system or a timer block where, I don't know, it starts putting it, putting out some kind of, I don't know, I'll figure something out to recover this, because this is actually a pretty expensive thing just to let fly off into space or crash back down to a planet. I kind of want this to be recoverable and reusable. But I'm pretty sure you're not really interested in that right now. I'm pretty sure you're interested in seeing this thing in action. So, 
Let's go ahead and turn our ion thrusters off. There we go. Now, basic startup sequence, you get your boosters going, and then boom, you blast off. And then you detach that, start this, and then you're away. And that goes flying off into space, doing whatever it's going to do. You're out of atmosphere, and you can now dock with whatever you need to. And look at that distance. We traveled so far away in such a short amount of time. And once you're away, this is a completely autonomous shuttle. You can fly around, do whatever you normally do with a regular ship. There aren't really a whole lot of moving parts or anything to worry about, so you're not worrying about any pistons or rotors snapping off or breaking. And you've got all the cargo you need to dock back up with your ship and do whatever you need to do. So yeah, this is just a quick, dirty demonstration of what I've been working on since this hydrogen engine update. And I gotta admit, I'm really excited to see how these things pan out and how they work in atmosphere and just all the sorts of things you can possibly do with them. It's really cool stuff. I'm really excited for it. And I can't wait until the planet update launches. And looks like I'm about to get my ship wrecked. See you next time, folks.